what's going on youtube welcome to the channel thanks for checking out the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button where we're always dropping new toyota tacoma content so let's just jump into it guys so i just wanted to bring a quick video to you guys because there's been a bunch of thefts going on with these wheels on forerunners and tacomas basically on all the lifted trucks and they're basically been targeting toyotas though mostly toyotas and you know the tacomas and the forerunners so and it's been one of those things to where I was like, you know, once I got into these trucks and I seen how much the wheels and tires are, I kind of thought about it for a long time. I was like, hmm, I'm surprised people aren't like stealing these wheels like all the time. You know, I'm from the hood. So, you know, I know about people, you know, unfortunately, you know, going and, you know, I don't know people personally, at least I don't hope I don't know them personally. But, you know, people, you know, they stole cars or jack cars and, you know, people would get their wheels stolen all the time. Like you find you see it all the time i mean whether you're watching an old movie you've seen people's cars left on bricks so it's been a thing and even um i had a, a actually a friend of the family um my aunt she had her truck her truck was like at a uh at a similar place like this it was in a parking it was at a parking ride or whatever you know she was catching the bus or whatever she left her her truck there her suv and it had brand new tires on it and they took the wheels and tires so they just completely took them so yeah um you know i garage my truck so my truck's not like hanging outside my house um i don't think i've ever ever left my truck outside overnight you know i've left the tesla outside overnight because it's got you know all those cameras on it and it watches the whole house so i've done that but i don't think i've ever left this so the only time this thing gets left is if we go on vacations and then you know i have to park it in a parking garage somewhere or i'll try to park it where i can see it at so that's basically the best thing that you want to do you want to always keep your uh, truck, you know, garage, you know, if you can, and you definitely want to be able to um, keep an eye on it, you know, if you're not, you know, if you're not at home or if you're going to be away from home and maybe if you're at a restaurant, I like to try to see, I, you know, call it, you know, a little over the top, but I like to be able to see my truck if I'm eating at a restaurant, I'll try to park or try to sit where I can still see it and kind of keep an eye on it. But the wheels and tires are expensive, you know, so like your average set of wheels, you know, could be, you know, around, you know, from a thousand, a thousand anywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars let's just we'll just start at a thousand you know that's 250 bucks a wheel and then you consider your tires your tires and everything are going to run you another you know thousand twelve hundred fifteen hundred bucks and if you get much range that's going to be even more so one of the easiest things is you know some of the things i've already mentioned but this is one of the one of the easiest things for you to do the first thing you should do is get the wheel locks so this is a wheel lock and they've been doing wheel locks for a long time now this isn't going to stop somebody from taking your wheels this will slow them down so you know people even have keys sometimes they got the little keys and stuff so they'll just go around and see which one fits your wheels and they'll just snatch them off so yeah it's it sucks but uh, i always kind of thought about it though because like i said you know we got nice wheels and 33s and 35s and you know brand new meat and all these wheels you got some of these wheels you know the ray wheels or whatever they're like three thousand dollars so you know and same thing with the old school with the you know with people on the 20s and 24s or back in the day and they still do you know dayton's and stuff dayton's was a uh was a, a wheel you know killer dayton's is what they actually called them so people were actually getting you know killed carjacked and they would take their little wire wheels they're all gold wheels or their you know a hundred spokes and uh carjack these people would take their whole car their wheels so these trucks, you know, are nice and especially everything that we do to them, you know, all the accessories, people put big screens, they got all types of stuff in these trucks, you know, so yeah, I always kind of thought that, you know, so it sounds like, so the person that's doing it, it's, it sounds like it's a rash of them, a rash of them, I've never used that before, but a rash of these uh, car thefts and basically they left, so I'll probably, what I'll probably do is, because I've just been seeing it on Instagram and I think it, there, there was even a news story that they had i've been seeing it on youtube but it happened like three days ago so it's all over so they actually had a solar octane that's just like mine and um it's just jack so they're just leaving them on bricks so i'll probably i'll maybe try to find that picture of that truck and put it in the thumbnail for this video but yeah just you want to just keep an eye on your truck whether it's your tacoma or whatever your car you know if you can keep them in the garage if not also you know having an alarm you know and i haven't had it have an alarm on a, a car since i was in seattle you know since since way back then you know when i had you know a car back in the day it seems like you know you just had to have an alarm or you had to have the club you know i have the app you know i have the app on this so it lets me know if all my doors are locked and i can lock it and it'll let me know where my car is at so if your vehicle is actually stolen and you know i don't really hear a lot about these vehicles being stolen and like i hadn't even heard a lot about you know that type of stuff going on but you know this could be this could be a thing now you know 
this definitely could be a thing now and especially with these new 2024s coming out you know with everybody gonna get new wheels and tires for these and have them all lifted up so yeah just keep an eye on your truck because to me the tacomas are the nicest looking truck so once they become even more popular and stuff i think people are gonna be you know we could be targets you know so keep an eye on your truck you know that's what i would do i always keep an eye on my truck i don't i don't like i don't trust people you know when i park it when i pretty much park i always park like this you know i park away from people i don't even want people scratching my truck i always like to see when i see on the facebook pages when people are like oh i came out the store and i was parked right in another tacoma park right next to me you know and i'm like i would never do that even a fellow tacoma owner no i see look you guys see me i'm just worried about my truck getting scratched i'm not trying to be extra i just this is my baby you know this is my baby so you know i like that but i always think yeah that is cool like if anybody parked next to me i definitely wanted to be a toyota tacoma owner you know i just don't want them to be like oh that's little kenny Fuck. oops excuse my <laughs> they'd be like forget that cat you know what i'm saying or i don't know you know i don't know i just love this truck so much it's so pretty i don't know maybe if somebody you know you guys aren't haters i'm sorry guys we are not haters in the group so we got haters out there so there's haters out there so just watch out so like you know we got a lot of stuff on these trucks so that's the only thing that they're taking thank god and you know of course we've had to deal with the you know the catalytic converters your truck's a little bit higher so it is a little bit easier but all that again goes to like where are you parking your truck at you know be aware of your surroundings all the time you know because i couldn't even imagine i couldn't even imagine if that would have happened to me like you know you don't even know how you would respond because like We've had our house broken into before while we were actually in the house. And uh, that is not good, you guys. That is like, that is the worst thing that could ever possibly happen to you. I just thank God, you know, I thank God that no, none of us were hurt, you know, and uh, cause that was, that, that could have been a real bad situation. So my point is, this is like, you don't want to be violated. So I, you would just totally, I would totally feel violated. I wouldn't even know, you know, it would be a lot better than, you know, getting my wheels taken than having somebody come in my house, you know, while I'm asleep and steal stuff so you just got to be careful these days and uh you know these trucks are nice and you know you could be you could be targeted because you have a nice vehicle so never leave anything inside your vehicles you know tinted windows are good for that thing so you can kind of keep people from looking inside your vehicle but you definitely want to always keep your doors locked always keep your doors locked and keep every nothing inside of value even if you don't even even if you like if it's just a bag or something and you got dirty clothes in it don't even leave that in there because if they look in there and see a bag or anything like that and got something in it they could just be like they're just going to break into it you know and you got people that sometimes just see a car and just want to vandalize it so you know just trying to give you guys some tips you know so let's just look at my truck right now let's just see since i left it here let's see if there's anything in here that somebody could have been like let me check it out so we got coffee in here i usually i don't even like to have wires i usually don't even like to leave wires and stuff like that out because then they might think that um you know maybe something's plugged in there maybe they have their phone or a tablet or something might have been left in there so yeah pretty good and then let's see i got like a bag in here that i'll take out and of course there's my wallet so you see what i'm saying there's my wallet in there right so people do that stuff all the time so a console safe would be nice too so you can get a console safe for these so you can even leave more valuables but even with that console safe, I don't know how safe that is. So you never really want to leave valuables in your vehicle when you are not in it. You know, don't do it. So a safe would be nice. But yeah, so just keep an eye on your truck, you know, keep an eye on your surroundings. Keep an eye on your truck and uh, get those wheel locks. Definitely get the wheel locks. I don't know. You know, some people back in the day, they might have had insurance. You can get insurance on your wheels and your tires or something like that. I look into that. But uh, yeah, this truck is beautiful. <laughs> I cleaned it up a couple of days back and it's still looking good. They're like, yeah, I'm not even worried about the 24, to be honest, guys. I'm not even worried about it. It looks good, though. These 24s, you guys, these 24s look good and they look so good. They look so good lifted and some wheels and tires. It's just the front end. It's this front end that does it for me, you guys. I don't care what you guys saying, especially when it's lifted, this front end, it does it for me with those wheels and tires. Right now, it's not really doing it for me, but yeah so keep your stuff safe guys keep your stuff safe so let me know are you guys still running alarms i know these guys with the chargers 
they got the alarms and they can tell where their car is at. They got, you know, tell if the window's open or anything like that. So I might get me one of them fancy new alarms. But like I said, I don't know if I need it with this beauty because I don't. This truck is so bright, I can park it a mile away and I can still keep an eye on it. But man, this I just love my truck. That's why I be so funny. It's like I'd be scared to park it or do anything. But uh, I'm loving my truck, you guys. The 23 is awesome. 24s are are awesome but these 23s there's something about them man people are still buying them they're coming to look at used ones today and uh these are the ones right here man the 23 trd pro i'm just looking at it and it's something about it it's something about it and i haven't even done you know i haven't even done everything so just like you know you see these people with rooftop tents and you see them with you know all the stuff on their beds and everything you know you could be a target you know you could be a target. You got winches and everything. Cause like, I was always thinking like, yeah, not like I was gonna go do it or nothing. Cause I, of course not. But um, yeah, you know, if somebody's truck is all hooked up and set up, you know, you're thinking you're a target. But I figured if you got all that stuff on your truck, you definitely keeping an eye on it. You might have an alarm and you've got all the stuff, you know, you need to keep it safe. So you definitely want to keep these beautiful trucks safe. So that's gonna do it guys. Just be safe out there and be aware of your surroundings. As I've already said like three times now, and keep everything locked and keep everything out of sight and get you some wheel locks. And that's going to do it, guys. Have a good day and God bless. Peace.